Prepare yourself for a journey to wisdom, wellness, and wonder through Greek philosophy. Whatever your hopes and dreams may be, you will emerge from this guided meditation much more comfortable and much more confident than before. It will all seem effortless to you. Now prepare yourself. Arrange your clothes. Make sure your other devices are turned off so that we will have no disturbances during this guided meditation. Your hands should be to the side of your body with the palms facing upwards. At the end of this video, please like, comment, share it with your friends, and make sure you're subscribed to this channel. If you'd like to listen to today's session without any advertisement interruptions, head on over to patreon.com. You can go ahead and close your eyes if you feel more comfortable. Now let's begin by taking a deep breath together, inhaling through the nose, holding that breath and spreading it throughout your whole body from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. And only when you've spread the oxygen in your body can you then exhale through the mouth. Again, inhale deeply, 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 relaxing your facial muscles, relaxing your shoulders, spreading the oxygen to all the cells of your body and exhaling through the mouth with double the time so that really you empty out any stress. Once again, a deep, deep inhalation, relaxing your jaw in particular by dropping your mouth open, spreading the oxygen throughout your whole body relaxing your shoulders and again exhaling double the time so that you feel deeply deeply relaxed observe your abdomen your stomach area as it's rising and falling with every breath you take Observe how it inflates like a balloon every time you're inhaling and how it deflates every time you exhale. Allow yourself to breathe naturally, relaxing and being comfortable with every breath you take. Inhaling and exhaling. Your shoulders are relaxing. Your whole right arm is relaxing. Your whole left arm is relaxing. The 
abdomen area is relaxing, your genital area is relaxing, your whole left leg is relaxing, your whole right leg is relaxing. You feel yourself sinking deeper and deeper as you feel your whole body relaxing. Difficulties and challenges in life are only obstacles if we make them so. It depends on how we look at these challenges. We can either see obstacles and get blocked or we can see opportunities and make progress. As Marcus Aurelius, the famous Roman emperor and student of Greek philosophy, wrote to himself over two millennia ago, the impediment to action advances actions. What stands in the way becomes the way. Now this is undoubtedly one of history's most effective formulas for overcoming every negative situation. A formula for thriving not just in spite of what happens, but because of it. And this may seem like a difficult lesson to apply, but it's only the way you look at things. Greek philosophers believed that always there is a chance to practice virtue. And for the Greek philosophers, virtue was the real reason for living, our real purpose for every one of us is to express our virtue. In Greek, the word is areti. In other words, your real purpose here in life is to flourish, and the way to do this is through practicing virtue. So challenging situations are the ideal training ground for practicing courage, humility, reason, justice, patience, self-discipline, and forgiveness. Virtue is always within our control. It's always possible to respond with virtue in every given situation. What stands in the way becomes the way. It's just another chance to practice being virtuous. So this is really a very big mind shift. No matter what life throws at you, you have this choice. What is trying to block you is actually your greatest teacher. The only thing that can get in the way is ego. Either we will shrink or we will grow when there is a challenge. 
the adversity presents a stepping stone to reach a higher level as a person. In other words, to mature and flourish. Without this opportunity, we can't grow and we remain as we are. Imagine a fire. Imagine that you are that fire. Every obstacle gets consumed by you and used as fuel. Because remember, if nothing stands in the way, the fire dies. With no logs to consume, the fire will soon diminish in force. So the Stoic and the philosopher welcome these challenges. They jump into the fire. There was even a seal ring for warriors in ancient Greece. And on the seal ring was written, En piri prokopte. That means advance into the fire. Nothing can prevent you from practicing virtue. Whenever something gets in the way that you were expecting to go differently, instead of being disappointed and disillusioned or complaining, use the obstacle to practice your most important goal, to live with arete, to express the highest version of yourself to be virtuous. This all comes down to your perception, of course. The same situation can be perceived as a lead ball chained to your leg or as wings to help you fly. How you interpret challenges is critical to your success. So the philosopher simply has it as a principle. I welcome challenges, they say. Simply welcome them. Like someone you are expecting. Marcus Aurelius wrote, if you are pained by an external thing, it's not this thing that disturbs you, but your judgment of it. And it is in your own power to wipe out this judgment now. So it's really up to you. Allow each challenge to fuel your fire and you will find opportunity in everything. You'll always turn obstacles into opportunities. Even if you don't know at the very moment Tell yourself, I know this is an opportunity, even if I can't see it right now. Allow myself to retreat, to calm down, and be open to inspiration. Getting all nerved up about things and angered is certainly not going to help. This is showing that you have choice. You are nobody's pawn. You are not a reacting person. You are a leader of yourself. 
So, you'll get better at this over time, as long as you make it part of your practice, part of your way of being, part of your habits. So I invite you over the next week to be particularly vigilant of yourself when you're about to get irritated. Something doesn't go your way, you have to do something and repeat it because of some mistake. Instead of getting frustrated, tell yourself, this is for my improvement. This is for my opportunity in life. View everything as an opportunity. Be radical in that way. Do not allow yourself to view anything as an impediment, but rather as a training ground for you to practice virtue. I look forward to reading your comments about that and sharing your experiences. Now is a good time to repeat your deep affirmation three times, your life mission and purpose. No matter what happens in your life, this will become a reality. And now, on the count of three, you're going to return to full open awareness, returning to your ordinary life. One, take a deep breath, expanding your shoulders, expanding your arms over your head like you do early in the morning, stretching yourself. Two, take another deep breath and move your body stretching from side to side. Three, extend to the tips of your toes and the tips of your fingers, stretching your whole body, feeling revitalized, you're feeling confident, you're feeling powerful and certain of yourself. And as you're returning to full awareness, simply stretch your neck from side to side, relaxing your shoulders and opening your eyes if you've had them closed up until now. You look around and you see that the environment hasn't changed, but deep in yourself, you know that you have experienced a deep transformation. The reality may look the same, but you have changed, and that changes everything. That will attract the most positive energy. No matter what happens, you know that you are able to handle things from a place of inner strength and confidence. Thank you for joining me in this guided meditation. I look forward to seeing you next time. Once again, 
Thank you for supporting my work on Patreon.com.